I want to work through a couple examples. I'm going to do rhodium with you and uh, what is this, tellurium, uh, just so you can see how to use the periodic table and this concept here to write out your electron configurations. So <clears throat> the one thing that you need to remember when you're working with periodic table, once you've remembered, well, two things to remember, I guess, uh, where your s orbitals are, your p orbitals, and your d orbitals are, and yes, your f orbitals as well. Um, once you have those, then you need to remember that when uh, your period here level, so your periods tell you what quantum level you're at, Okay, except for the D orbital users. So these are your transition metals. They actually drop down a quantum level for what period they're in. So we go 4S directly across from that is the 3D. Directly across is then the 4P. And then <clears throat> your uh, lanthanide and actinide series, remember these get inserted here and they actually drop two levels. So you'd have 6F, 6S, 4F, 5D, 6P, then 7F, excuse me, 7S, 5F, 6D, 7P. So remembering the D orbitals drop a quantum number from the period that they're in, f orbitals drop two. So our electron configurations for rhodium, we look at our periodic table here, we have <clears throat> rhodiums here. So it's going to have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, then we have 4d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'd have 4d7 as our final part. So I'm going to say that through again, and then I'll write it out. But essentially we have 1s2. Then we have 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, then we're here, so we have 4d1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, then 4d. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four D seven. That ah, sounds like forty seven. Now, this is the complete configuration. The condensed configuration works off of our noble gases. Okay, so our nearest noble gas here is gonna be Krypton. So Krypton actually takes care of all of that. So we would have Kr, and then we'd have our remaining 5s2, 4d7. <clears throat> now if you look at tellurium, tellurium is in actually the same period, and it's just further over. <coughs> Excuse me. So it will complete its 4D10, and then it'll have 5P1234. So 
So it'll have the same set as rhodium. We'll just have 4D10 and then 5P4. So there are your two options. Again, we're just condensing that down. You'll definitely want to practice both ways and practice using the periodic table so you don't have to rely on writing out this entire series. Work on building up on the periodic table. Use the periodic table to your advantage. Uranium will be a fun one for that considering uh, you're way, way down there for that one. Okay. <coughs>